Now I'd like to show you how to set the Dock 200 trap with this setting tool. This was actually designed for a larger trap with a heavier spring called the Dock 250. However, if you have trouble setting a trap with a rope, then you can use this tool in a slightly modified format. What I want you to notice on the tool is that the main bar axis has an offset. This is so that when this part is hooked onto the back of the trap, the main bar lines up precisely over the trigger area. Now I'll take the screen out so that you'll get a better view of what's going on. On this side is a hook. That hook goes over the loop on the, tr on the trap. Then, holding the trap firmly down, pull back. When you get to this position, it seems not to want to set. What you need to do is give it a short twist to one side, and the trigger falls in place, and the trap is set. Then carefully remove the setting tool, and you're ready to go.